This track is pretty special because uh, it's the longest trade uh, ever that I've ever seen. It's uh, 1.8 kilometers and we stay 23 seconds completely flat out. This is uh, something crazy because we reach uh, very high top speeds and uh, because um, it's uh, very, very important the slipstream and the wind coming uh, from the front or from the tail that can change completely the, the speed of the bike. And uh, it's also good for us because for 24 hours I have 23 seconds where we can actually breathe is, uh, is something positive. I have to say we've uh, been uh, the strongest team so far in both races this season, but luckily we were or unlucky, we were in the races and uh, in Le Mans our engine uh, failed and we had to stop in the night on the on second position and we were catching Seat uh, for the lead and um, for sure this would have been a podium and uh, really important points for the championship. We were re really going on to basically two victories and uh, we didn't make it, you know, one time there was a technical issue and one time a crash, uh, which of course is part of uh, racing. So. Really unfortunate, but we are trying basically to keep high uh, with our confidence and uh, still working, you know. For a reason or another, we didn't achieve what we what we wanted. Anyway, now we are uh, fully aware that uh, it's difficult to fight for the championship, so we have to focus just on race by race. And uh, this is our good opportunity to show our true potential and to be to be on top. Free tests are very important because uh, it's an opportunity to check uh, how the bike is behaving on this track that is pretty much different from the others. And uh, we have a different gearing inside compared to last year, so we had to check this. And uh, also we have to try the new bridges on tires. We have to find the best setting that will help us to have a fast bike during the 24 hours race, but also not too physical. So it's uh, challenging and it's very, very important. Well, uh, this test was important because uh, last year we missed this race and uh, many things changed because, for example, the tarmac here is uh, brand new. So uh, it's important to try all these places and uh, different kind of setups. We definitely tried the uh, electronics here for the first time. We also had a stronger engine than we used the racing engine. So for, for the test it was all good and uh, we are confident definitely. the track record and uh, we didn't expect for the first day. We are all three very fast and consistent and uh, so I'm, uh, I'm really happy, really confident. Yeah, we are trying some uh, qualifying for the 24 hour of Le Castellet and uh, it's quite a good test and we see what's going on now.
after the test we are really really happy because we were able to set some really fast lap times compared to the to the previous event we were 1.5 second faster than our best lap two years ago and this is a massive difference this means that the new electronic that we are using it's working really well and uh, we are really in good shape so it's uh, it's nice to see that we can be so fast and also we did a couple of race simulation as well and uh, we were really, really a lot faster than two years ago. I mean, the confidence going into 24 hours is uh, always high because we uh, set up the bike with a test before, like uh, the best we can. And normally we always feel great and we feel really great now on the bike and with the team and everyone, everyone doing a fantastic job. And we riders prepare like uh, every day to be 100% fit for this race. Yeah, of course it will be hard because everyone is super strong here. So it will be tight even in the qualifying and the race for sure. And 24 hours are really long so I think the most important is to be uh, focused every stint and uh, don't make any stupid mistake and race is long and so much things can happen and I think the most important is just to concentrate on yourself doing your stints your laps and at the end you will see where you end up. Yeah our pace is, is I think uh, our strong point we are quite good in the pace and after some laps the bike is still great and we can do a very good long run and the tire lasting also very long so at the moment I'm quite confident for the for the pace.